Hi, it's John. I'm going to be looking today at uh, a concept of adding chords or adding different things to chord sequences. I was asked by Hans Soto, one of my uh, subscribers. So uh, thanks for getting in touch, Hans. This one's for you. Um, what we're going to look at, basically, you asked about a 1-4-5 chord sequence. So for the guys who don't know what a 1-4-5 chord sequence means, it's using the first, the fourth, and the fifth chord in any given key. So for this, I'm going to use the key of A major. So it's going to be the key, um, first chord is going to be A. The fourth chord is going to be D major. And then E7 is going to be our fifth chord. And one concept that's really common in blues and jazz and soul and neo soul as a form of that is adding extra chords to get where we're going. So a really simple concept is adding diminished chords and it sounds really good, it sounds really gospel and soul and all of these genres are using it. So where would we put it in? Why would we do it? So I'm gonna show you where and why I would do it. That funny little chord in the middle. D sharp diminished seven. And what that does, by me putting that in there, it helps have a chromatic sort of lift from that fourth to the fifth chord. So it helps travel up from the D, the D sharp, and the E. And it sounds really smooth, so. really cool really effective and if we were to carry that on so I was going to do a one four five six we could add another diminished in and then it'll make it sound even more exotic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the basic chords of the one four five and six so it's going to be a D E7 and F sharp minor and like last time I put D sharp diminished seven chord in, what I'm gonna do is put an F diminished seven between the E and the F sharp. So all the way up from that four chord, right up to the six, we're gonna have a chromatic lift going on. So. It sounds really rich and really musical. It's a great way of doing things. It comes from a concept that um, I heard a lot of piano players doing it when I was trying to figure out chords and things because it's so easy for piano players to move sounds um, and chords really easy whereas we have to change a full shape as, of our hands as a guitar player. So I'll go over that again. <laughs> to do it in one four five six you could put them anywhere to provide a chromatic travel between two chords and that's basically why they're going to put those diminished voicings in so i'm going to zoom in and show you the voicing and how to play those diminished seven chords to get them in your chord sequences looking at the chords then again i was going from a major which is the bar chord on the fifth fret on the e string root to d major then our chord in question was D sharp diminished, uh, D, D sharp diminished seven. So looking at our original chord sequence, one, four, five, we were going A, D, and then E seven. But I added a D sharp diminished seven chord. It's a really cool sounding, really good chord. So what I'm gonna do is show you that. So our second finger is gonna form the root on this. It's going to be on our A string at the 6th fret, giving you that D sharp or E flat, but in this key I would call it a D sharp. Our first finger is then going to go behind on the G string on the 5th fret. Our third finger is going to be on the 7th fret of the D, and our little finger, the 4th finger, is going to be on the 7th fret of the B. So these are the intervals. four note seven chord diminished sounding thing so you got and then later on when I added the sixth chord into the sequence I added an F diminished seven which is exactly the same shape transformed up two frets so you've got 
eighth fret with the second finger on the A string, ninth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, and ninth fret on the B string. It's a really simple concept, this, but it sounds great. So the point of that video was to show you how diminished seven chords can be introduced to a chord sequence. Um, it really spices it up, it makes it sound cool. What I'll do is some other videos highlighting some other conceptual ideas such as uh, chord substitution, tritone substitution, all different things like that. Why would we put these in? Where does it live in the harmony? Things like that. So Hans, I hope it's started to cover some of it for you. Um, everybody else, I hope it's, it's all right. Enjoy, please get in touch if you want me to cover anything that you'd like to see. Cheers.